Hey guys and welcome to my quick and easy tutorial on how to install Optifine for vanilla Minecraft. Um, this may be slightly out of date um, by the time you watch this but the theory is exactly the same guys so don't worry if you're using a more recent version of Minecraft but today I'm going to be installing Optifine for Minecraft version 1.4.7. This is also available for snapshots too but I won't go into detail for this I'll just show you the such an easy method on how to install Optifine. So the first thing we want to do is go to Optifine.net Click the link here and it'll take you to the official um, forum page on Minecraft forums for Optifine. And what you want to do is scroll down. The most recent version is available at the top here. So the most recent version available at the moment is HD D3 Ultra for Minecraft 1.4.6 and 1.4.7. Um, you want to download that here. So that's pretty simple. That will just go to your downloads folder. We can forget about that for now. Just keep that in your downloads. Okay, so next thing we want to do is download MC Patcher. The reason why I'm using MC Patcher in conjunction with Optifine is because you don't have to manually go to your local Minecraft installation and fiddle around with any files there. And that's something I usually mess up myself. So this is my method I'm explaining to you. So what you want to do, you want to scroll down and download um, the version which is relevant to um, your operating system. So we've got a Windows only version here, so I need to download that. What you do is click on download via add file, add fly, sorry, and that will go to your downloads folder. So just put this aside. So this open up MC Patcher that we have placed on our desktop. You can do that by going to your downloads folder and dragging and dropping the MC Patcher onto your desktop. That's pretty simple. So what we want to do, we want to run it. Okay, so MC Patcher as a standalone um, product. What it does, it it, um, it allows you to use HD texture packs, fonts, have better grass, random mobs, and um, connected um, textures and some other stuff there, as you can see on screen. But we're going to use MC Patcher to patch Optifine into Minecraft. We're not going to use any of the features available in MC Patcher on its own because Optifine does what MC Patcher does plus more. Okay, so we want to click on Mods and Add. So it gives us a directory here because 1.4.7 because that's the re that's the version of Minecraft we're using. So what we want to do, we want to go into my computer and we want to find this folder here, which is very simple. What you want to do, let me just uh, get my computer up. Okay, you want to go to your local disk drive, double click, then you want to go to users. Um, you want to click on the user that you're using. I'm assuming you got your own account. Mine is Designer Juice. So we want to go here, we want to go to App Data, Roman, Minecraft, then Mods, then inside the 1.4.7 folder, that's the version of Minecraft we're using. Okay, so we're officially in the mod folder for the version of Minecraft we have. Okay, so we need Optifine to go into this folder. So we just go to Downloads, find our download folder, drag and drop Optifine in. You can now close both these windows, you don't need these anymore, and you want to go back to Mods and Add. And as you can see, Optifine is in that directory now, so we can just click on that, click on Open, click on OK, and the next thing we need to do is patch it. So we just patch. All you want patched is um, Optifine, the version you've downloaded, nothing else because Optifine does all this for you, as I just said. Then we want to launch Minecraft, so let's just launch Minecraft and give you guys a little tester. I'll show you what Optifine actually does. Um, if you've got any questions regarding Optifine, um, I can't answer them all because I don't know too much about it, but this is my method on how to install Optifine in the most easiest way without having to go into the local Minecraft directory and changing any of the current files and folders and stuff like that. There may not be too much involved in it actually, but, um, <clears throat> but uh, this is a lot easier for me because you have to delete like a meta, data, meta file and stuff. That's, that's too fiddly for me. Okay, so I'm going to open one of my single player worlds like so. And this is my Witch's Hut currently being featured on my channel at the moment. So you're kind of having a sneak peek at the final build. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to head on and just go down by here. Okay, so what we want to do is go to Options, Video Settings. And as you can see, there is a load more video settings in here in Minecraft. So if you've got a really laggy computer and you're installing Optifine to try and give yourself a bit more juice so the game runs a bit smoother, um, I would turn graphics off. Well, on to fast, and then turn this performance all the way down to 25 frames a second. Okay, like so. So, now, when we press F3, as you can see, Minecraft is running strictly at 25 frames a second, as you can see in the top left. Let's go in here so you can see better. 
So as you can see, Minecraft is running strictly at 25 frames a second. Um, it's not going to go over that. It may go down though at some points. But uh, this is very smooth. Um, this will give your computer a lot more um, integrity, I guess, in, in um, running Java at the same time. Um, if you want to go totally overboard, though, feel free to uh, go into your video settings. You can crank performance up. You can even turn some of the animations off. And then if we go back and look at F3, you can see that we've got 129 frames, 138. How many frames can we get? I know we're inside, you get more frames when you're inside a building because you are this 210 then, 194, 208. So as you can see, OptiFrame really does jazz at Minecraft. Um, you don't have to put it to extreme like this. You can even turn the render distance beyond you know, you can have it to extreme all the way up here. See, we, we don't want that. Well, you could have that if you're recording some really nice cinematics and stuff. But Yeah, anyway, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. Um, like I said before, leave some comments. I'll try my best to help you. But if I, I don't know the answers to everything, unfortunately. This is just my way on how to install Optifine the most easiest way without having to go into your local Minecraft directory and messing around with the files. You can just get up. Um, you could just get MC Patch it and do the work for you. So it's just drag and drop, really. So, um, yeah, I want to say thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if this video has helped you. And uh, I should be seeing you sometime in the near future in another Minecraft video. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.